TSL's Game of the Week this week. It's an absolute beauty. It's the second week of the split round and it hasn't come to the point yet. It's North Hobart versus Lauderdale. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, North Hobart have reinvented themselves after losing their coach some four weeks ago. Lance Spalding now in charge and Lauderdale have just grown over the three years of this competition, particularly this season. They're up in fourth position going into this game. That's unheard of for a club that's new to it. I had a really big win, convincing win against Glenorchy two weeks ago. That perversely may have spelt the end of Byron Howard as coach of Glenorchy, but Lauderdale really on a roll. They know that uh, how tight this is in the top end of the competition. It just can't be anything else but a fantastic contest. In the short term, it is a huge game because what we saw last week, Glenorchy beating Clarence, of course, responding after yes. Lauderdale did the business to them. Suddenly, all spots, in the apart from one and two, are up for grabs. Yeah, it's the third spot's even gettable. Uh, Bernie are playing very, very well coming out. They've had a couple of very strong wins, so it's going to be hard. They have a game in hand, but fourth and fifth, you know, they're absolutely vital very open and gee, that, just the resilience or the bounce back from Glenorchy last week has just added that extra little bit. Lots of really good players are running around in this. I'm looking forward to seeing Matthew Smith play, Marcus Fitz. You know, those players have grown in stature for Lauderdale. It's a ripping contest. Looking forward to it. We've seen some good footy recently on ABC Grandstand. This is a beauty. Of course, the other game is South Launceston versus Denport. Interesting in itself. Are two cellar dwellers, I guess, that have been playing reasonable footy of late. But this is the one to stay tuned to, folks. Make no mistake about it. North Hobart versus Lauderdale. The Demons looking to turn the tables this time on the Bombers at North Hobart Oval. Stay tuned.